Picking a memorable moment is really hard, especially when you've been teaching as long as I have, but they usually revolve around when my students learn how to read for the first time. So you know, you spend a lot of time each day learning the letter sounds, blending them together, working with sight words, but then all of a sudden it comes together for them and it becomes relevant because they realize I can read that sentence to my teacher and it has a meaning to me. And really that's why I'm here and I do what I do because there's nothing like seeing their face when they turn to you and say, I can read. You know, it's really special. There's no one defining moment, um, but I really enjoy the aha moments when we see that symbolic light bulb go off. I was actually severely bullied in high school, so another moment that is one of my favorites is when my students, I hear about them making good choices either in front of me or somewhere on campus. Um, they're making good choices to de-escalate problematic situations. So it really confirms that our Positive Vibes classroom is making a positive impact on them. There's obviously many. But one that stands out is several years ago, I had a student who had a first kindergarten year that was very, very challenging. And he repeated kindergarten and was placed in my classroom. Through my connection with him, developing trust, and a ton of hard work, we made it through the year very successfully. He has absolutely thrived, and to get him to go forward, and he's now in seventh grade, I see him often, and he is doing beautifully so that is probably one of my proudest moments is just that year and that connection with that child that really made a difference. There was one Christmas morning when one parent called me and she was crying and it scared me because I thought something bad happened to my student. Finally I got the answer she said my son said his first word today and he said Nina he was looking for me and it was Christmas season and so they had to bring him to school to show him that I wasn't there and there were no students there and that touched me a lot. Being my name spoken for the first time in a 19 year old kid's life, that was very, very touching.